All right, so we're going to continue on our discussion about hammer-ons a little bit. Um, in my studio, I put together a little groove using a hammer-on, a G minor uh, groove with a hammer-on. There's one other little technique that I'm using in it too. Um, involves a little bit of plucking. Now, we haven't talked too much about plucking in this program. We talk about it a lot in level one already. But just to give you a quick little briefer, when you're plucking on a string, basically you're getting your finger under the string, whatever string you decide to pluck on and giving it a nice little yank, like that. Now usually, you're playing a note along with that. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm still going to pluck just like I was playing a note, but I'm going to mute the string. So you're still feeling the percussive aspect of the pluck, which is important but you're not actually hearing a note. And it, it's, you know, with thumping and plucking, it, it gets really, really deep and really, really happening when you kind of get these different percussive rhythms happening. And um, you're not e necessarily even hitting a note. It's more, again, it's, it's like your bass is being a drum again, and that's, that's a real Im important thing. So here's, here's the, uh, the next uh, little groove I got for you, a little slow here. It goes like this. So let's break down that first little section. Hammer to F to G. I'm going to come down with my full hand like that for one percussive technique. Then I'm going to pluck the B flat or your minor third of that G. Then another hammer, another come down on the string, and then the fake ghost note on the G. So. And then to a low B flat, you thump on low G. So the whole first section of the groove is. All right. Then we're going to go back to the to the hammer, th and this is going to be a few hammers in a row. So let me do that again slower. We got two, one hammers to the pluck to the B flat and then this last hammer is almost kind of like a triple hammer. You're literally, it's, a, it's almost like actually it's a, I guess you would call it a pull off. It's a backwards hammer where you're actually pulling the string, hitting that note and then I'm coming down with my hand and hitting that G. So then low G. So all right in a row, when you put all the little ingredients together, we got this. All right, so now let's do it with the actual track. Hi, I'm John McCarthy, creator of the Rockhouse Method System of Learning. The lessons you just went through came from this Rockhouse program. You could find this and all Rockhouse products at your local music dealer, or you could go to rockhousemethod.com to find a dealer list. Make sure to sign up for your free lifetime membership at rockhousemethod.com, where you'll find backing tracks, additional information, interactive tools, and everything to make your learning fun and easy.